mathematicians. Today we're going to be learning about fractions, more specifically about multiplying fractions by whole numbers. To get us started, we have 1 over 2 times 3. So what we're going to do first is take our fraction and represent that. So here we have a model of 1 over 2 because we have one part shaded out of two equal parts. And in order to multiply that by 3, we have to take that model and represent it three times. And that's what it means by multiplying 1 over 2 by 3. So here we have 1 over 2 written out three times, which is the same thing as 1 over 2 times 3. So if we take our original model and color code it, Notice here that we are representing our three halves, but putting them together. So we have one half, two halves, and three halves. And in total, we have three shaded pieces out of two equal parts, which will be equal to one and a half because we have one fully shaded circle and half a circle here. So, 1 over 2 times 3 is equivalent to 3 over 2, which is equivalent to 1 and a half. So, if we didn't have our model, we would take this problem and rewrite it so that both numbers are in fraction form. So, we'll rewrite the 1 over 2 here, and then we'll take 3 and write it in fraction form, which, which just means writing it over 1, because 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3. And then for multiplying fractions, it doesn't matter if their denominator is the same or different. We just go ahead and multiply the numerator, so 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And then we go ahead and multiply the denominator, so 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Here we have an improper fraction, so we're going to rewrite it as a mixed number. So 3 over 2 is equal to 1 and 1 over 2. And that's it for this problem. So let's take a look at a different example. Here we have 3 over 5 times 4. So first we're going to represent 3 out of 5. So we have 3 pieces shaded out of 5 equal parts. And because we're multiplying by 4, we're going to represent that 4 times. So here we have three-fifths represented four times. So if we take that original model and color code it, here we're going to start combining it. So we have three-fifths in pink, plus another three-fifths in blue, plus another three-fifths in green, plus another three-fifths in purple, and that's three-fifths four times. So three-fifths times four, we get a total of 12 parts that are shaded in, as we could see here. And it's out of five because each one of these circles is out of five parts. But once we start combining it, notice that we have two fully shaded circles. So one, two, and then two out of, fit, two out of five. So our answer is 12 out of five, which is equal to two and two out of five. If we didn't have our model now, we would take both these numbers and write them in fraction form in order to multiply it. So 3 out of 5 is already in fraction form, but 4 can be written as 4 over 1, because 4 over 1 is the same thing as 4. Then we go ahead and just multiply the numerators, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and then multiply the denominators, so 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 12 out of 5 is an improper fraction that can be written as 2 and 2 fifths. So let's do our final example here. We have 5 over 8 times 2. So first we'll represent 5 out of 8. So we have 5 shaded parts out of 8 equal pieces. And because we're multiplying it by 2, we're going to represent it 2 times. So here we have 5 eighths 2 times. So, we have 5 eighths 2 times, which is the same thing as 10 over 8, because we have 10 parts shaded out of 8. But if we start combining it, so we put them together, notice that we have one whole circle shaded in, plus a 
another two parts, giving us one and two eighths. Now, one and two eighths can be simplified if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. So two divided by two is equal to one, and eight divided by two is equal to four. So five over eight times two is equal to 10 out of eight, which can be written as one and two eighths, which could then be simplified as one and one fourth. Now, if we didn't have our model, we would take the fraction and rewrite it, and then take our two and write it in fraction form, which is two over one, because two over one is equivalent to two. We're going to then go ahead and multiply our numerators. Five times two is equal to 10. And then multiply our denominators. Eight times one is equal to eight. So we have 10 over eight, which is an improper fraction that can be written as one and two eighths, which can be simplified if we divide the numerator and the denominator by two, giving us one and one fourth. So essentially five over eight times two is equal to one and one fourth. And that's it for multiplying fractions by whole numbers.